All right, but now I'm going to show you a demo. So I'm switching gears now for a second. I'm now over here on my Android device, and I'm now going to go ahead and run this demo app. This demo is built in Unity, as you can see. And when it counts down, it's going to automatically log in using a device ID, the Android device ID. Every uh, uh, we have a number of different ways to authenticate devices randomly, or sorry, uh, uh, anonymously. Device ID is one of them. You can see I'm now showing an article. This is the same article we wrote earlier when we were looking at the promotions tab. So uh, that's where that came from. Uh, I can now uh, update my display name, register for push notifications. And now I'm in the game itself. And you can notice I'm seeing on the right here side here uh, my current player's inventory. And sure enough, if I go into this player's, first I look in the login history, you'll notice uh, that if I were to uh, refresh this, and look at my, uh, log, my login history here. Sorry, look at my uh, login history here. You see I just logged in. This is the login from right now. Actually, the time zone on this is a little bit off. Let me go ahead and, and actually set my time zone to uh, the current time zone where I am now, which in this case is actually Pacific time. Submit that. And now it's saved. If I now go back to uh, the player details, to be the login tab. Sure enough, okay. You can see I just logged in 3.48 p.m. That matches the time here on my computer. Let me log in right now. If I look at, for example, my virtual currency, you can see I've got 68,204 units of, of brownie points, which is showing up here in the game as those gold coins. You can see I've got, for example, um, so that, that shows you how, that, how those kind of match up. Uh, let's go ahead and push this battle button here. And when I push the battle button, it's actually calling that cloud script we saw earlier. And it's going to go ahead and give me the results of the battle. In this case, I killed nine monsters and earned one uh, treasure chest. And sure enough, if I go now into the, my player inventory, you will see I now have, let me refresh my inventory, and you can see I now have one treasure chest uh, with one use left succeeded in my inventory right now. And it was, it was instantiated and given to me at 3.49 p.m., which is right now, so that's the item I just, I just earned, my locked treasure chest. So if I want to try to open the treasure chest, I can click on it now, and it will say, go ahead and open it. Re uh, requires a key to open it, try to open the chest. Oh, it didn't work, I had no keys. And sure enough, my inventory shows no keys. So let's go ahead and hit the store button. I go to the store. You can see here the keys are cost 1,200 BP, and that's a price that was set. If I go back to my, um, if I go back to, for example, the economy tab and take a look at those keys, you can see where that price is coming from. It's right here, 1,200 to buy the key. So uh, let's go ahead and click on the key to buy one, and boom, I now have a key in my inventory. And if I go back now uh, to my player, click on purchases, You'll see that sure enough, I just purchased a, a key for treasure chest for 1,200 BP, succeeded 3.50 p.m. That's when I just bought that key. And if I go to my inventory, you'll see I now have uh, that key in my inventory, one use left. So now if I click on this treasure chest in the game and hit open fast, this time it's not going to work. And sure enough, I got one magic sword, one pair of flying boots, and one health potion. And all these items were chosen from that random drop table that you saw earlier. And if I refresh my inventory, you're going to see that sure enough, my lock treasure chest and my key now have zero uses left each, and I now have one magic sword, one flying boots, and one health potion all granted to me right now. So that's an example of uh, opening and uh, uh, being granted a container, opening it, and getting the contents out. I can now look uh, also at my stat system. So if I go to my leaderboard, you'll notice that James Tablet has on the leaderboard number one with 3,069 monsters killed. If I look at the player stats as player, sure enough, monster kills 3,069. So this stat, monster kills, is being used to set that leaderboard. And I've also got, likewise, a, a currency earned leaderboard, which is being set by this value here, 123,000 uh, items for my player. And I think with that, I think I've pretty much shown you everything there is to show you now uh, as a quick demo with PlayFab. There's obviously a lot of depth to the system.